Well, I think he kind of has a selfless personality that he wants to really, truly, genuinely help uh, people to the next step, whatever that next step may be, either clinically or professionally or educationally. And he has become a really good connector of individuals for a community that needs a lot of connectivity. The Brian that I know now is pretty much the same Brian I met in high school, someone who is well-respected, kind, outgoing. He still has all those positive characteristics. He set a goal for himself, and uh, he's lived up to it. Brian is the kind of person that we're trying to educate in Jesuit education. He's someone who's deeply devout, very generous. You can see in, in the work that he's done how much he, he loves the people that he serves in the hospital. He set up this extraordinary clinic for um, pediatric genetics, and he's serving kids with Down syndrome and, and a variety of other genetic disorders. He's exactly the kind of person that we're looking for in, uh, to come out of our schools. A couple of years back, a celebrity made a derogatory comment about individuals with Down syndrome. And Brian started a campaign of wearing goofy pants and socks and said, mock me, don't mock people who, who have Down syndrome. I think that's something that's very Christ-like uh, in, in it, taking on others' pain and suffering uh, on your own. And that, that's an example of why I think Brian is a man for others. I remember when he was at Duke Uni University, every Sunday morning, he would go to the, um, to the uh, emergency room. So the purpose was to go there to translate for them and to communicate so that they co could communicate properly. And so I was quite impressed. Listen, how many university students would get up early in the morning to spend the whole morning at the hospital? Now, they probably need to sleep in till 12 o'clock, right? But not not uh, Brian. My sister had developed a foundation in Michigan called Band of Angels that celebrates these Down Syndrome children. So lo and behold, I connected them. Well, a friendship ensued and the book Common Threads was published. And this book they produced and co-authored together and it features 52 different Down Syndrome children and highlights their gifts their talents, all the differences are celebrated. It was a beautiful, beautiful story. So they were be able to do that together. So he's really touched our family. He's become a household word for us. The Ignatius model is, the, you know, to be a man for others and to put others first, to be caring, not be self-centered. And I think he's chosen the path um, as an advocate for uh, people with cognitive and developmental disabilities. The books that he's yeah, written and, yeah. also have helped parents who get the news. When we got the news about Kristen, mm -hmm. we didn't have anybody to turn to, really. In the hospital, and um, now the literature that he's produced, and my wife was told by herself, and he's made it a point to have the parents told together the news. Ever since Brian was maybe in third grade, he always would spend time helping his sister. Uh, we always would take him to play, so when we mm -hmm. took him to see Greece and they asked for people in the audience to participate, he didn't hesitate to take his sister up on stage and they got the number one prize. They won. So she still she remembers that. She thinks about that. that to this day. She still yeah. remembers that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I love Brian so much. Mm. Mm. Certainly I enjoy when Ignatius comes to Boston and I participate in the alumni events and I have an opportunity to stay in touch with the development office and whenever I'm back in Cleveland I try to make a stop to the school. But I'm really grateful because St. Ignatius really has stayed involved with me and I think that when you get a diploma oftentimes people think of it as a goodbye but it really is a start and it's a beginning of taking those principles that we learn and putting them into practice. So I've really been grateful to the Ignatian community for staying in touch.